After 19 years of living in the U.S., I finally came back to my homeland, Cameroon. I was born there and I moved to the U.S. when I was about 7 years old and at 26, I came back, unfortunately for a funeral, but thank God I got to see a lot of family and had an amazing time. This is my Cameroonian vlog, mostly for my memories and my family's memories, but also for you guys to get a glimpse of my life. So, so this is the same day as the last vlog, but I wanted to cut it short because it's getting long. So right here, what we're doing is packing some bags. So as we invited everybody from the village to come and eat with us, we also had some like to go packets for them. So we put rice, soap, and salt in them, just for them to get home for them to cook for the days. Um, it's just a way to give back to our village and our neighbors. So I just thought that was super cute. We packed up with 80 bags. I should keep five one of them and we had it all laid out. We have that to for the kids, which I didn't get to record, but it's just a great time. I just got to get back and see some of family friends. People started to come and they had some of them already ate their, their plates. And now we're eating this traditional food to celebrate having twins. My older sister had twins. I don't like it. It's like some beans and something else. I don't know. With palm oil. Everybody has it. I'm kind of late, so I'll have to eat mine now. I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't want them to see my face though. So we're serving them food and I'm actually starving so I can't really record me giving it to them. But a bunch of people just came so we're gonna fill a bunch of plates again and serve them some food. We have rice and tomato sauce with meat. Mama Hasha is serving. Yay! <laughs> Y'all, I was really trying to be a pro and carry this thing on my head. But my poof was literally in my way, so it wasn't letting me be great. But you know, we tried. <laughs> oh. Look at this little kid pushing this thing by himself. It's the cutest thing. Hi, Sally. <laughs> or not. <laughs> hey, you guys, good morning. Don't mind my hair. We're about to make some um, eggs. So I'm going to show you guys how to light a fire in the village because we have to use like firewood <laughs> to cook everything in the village because actually we, got, we actually have a cooktop, but it's not working right now. So this is what we got. So let me show you what to do. First step is to get your wood, okay? First, you need like three big rocks. So that way when you put anything on it, it can sit on the rocks. And see, mom is, is putting um, some firewood there. You can get small ones, big ones. Small ones are gonna help to light it up in the beginning, but big ones are gonna help to keep the fire. So you need both small and big. So you're gonna put little ones there. And the key to, to keep the fire burning is to have a lot of wood. Right now, we're just, we're just making eggs, so we don't need the fire burning for that long. But whenever we cook like food, like we cooked yesterday, we cooked a lot of food, you wanna have a lot of wood, so that way you don't run out of fire. That's your first step, okay? Don't mind the stuff that's under here. That's, that was like the ass from what we, what, what we cooked yesterday. So you can have just plain ground under here, and that's totally fine. Just make sure you have four, three or four big rocks. That way, whenever you sit your food on top, you can actually sit it on the rocks. So we're actually gonna push this in when we're done putting the fire because that's where our, our food is gonna sit, like our pot or our pan or whatever the case may be. Now, you're gonna need to get a little paper, okay? And you need a lighter. So we have a lighter there. She's holding it in her hands and she's gonna light a paper and she's gonna put it under the small wood so that way it lights up. We want to come on the phone. She's asking me if I, what I'm doing. What she's wondering if I'm showing us how to do it. So you can get some plastic, works too, plastic or paper, we've used both. Tuck it under there. Light the paper. Okay. 
Okay, once the paper is lit enough, you put it under there with the plastic. So when there's wind, you might have to do it again because the, see the wind took it out. So she's going to do it again. Ah, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so it's the wind. So you have to keep trying. Sometimes you got to like be in front of the wind so that way. So that's why she switched position. Hmm. Okay, so she got the fire and she's gonna put it under there. She's gonna catch the plastic and then now it has to catch the small wood. And the smoke kind of does <clears throat> Hurt, so be careful. So you should make sure it clutches to the plastic so that way the wood burns. Once the small wood gets on, then the bigger wood will get on. So she's covering it so the fire catches on the wood as well. And be careful, you don't want to breathe in too much of the smoke, especially with the plastic. So you just put it back up. And then <clears throat> she's adding more plastic because it's easier to burn plastic, so it, which is actually not good, but you know, <laughs> so it catches onto the wood. Or else the paper, paper would just take like, forever. So you see, we have like cardboard paper there, we have plastic, and we have a like, small wood, and we have the big wood all the levels that it needs to go through it in order to really catch all the big wood. So the, water, the fire is under there if you're wondering. So you did catch some small wood right there. It's just gonna take a while to come up, but it is caught. So she just keeps adding paper just to add to the fire so it doesn't burn out. The key is to wrap your plastic around your wood so that way when it catches to the plastic, it can catch the wood. So that's what you want, is the wood. Because that will sustain the fire. As <laughs> <laughs> you can see, it's under there, it's starting to burn. Hey. Yeah, the wind, is, the wind is really not helping us, but she keeps helping to burn more paper because the fire keeps dying out. This is real life, you guys. We literally need to make eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Now she's adding more wood. She's 
literally just tearing it off of the big foot. I'm telling you guys, moms in the village are strong because how is she doing this? Ain't no, ain't no blowing your nails in the village, okay? <laughs> okay, it's so up clean. And there you guys have it. This is how you start a fire to cook food in the village. And for proof, by the way, I literally am in the village. This is my grandpa's house. So, yeah. This is the inside kitchen. We usually do it in here sometimes, but we just don't feel like breathing in too much smoke. But yeah, we do it in there, and it's much easier because there's no wind that comes in here that much. But we must be outside today, so here we are. Tearing small ones is always as it takes time to catch into the big wood. The fire it keeps burning because you don't want to lose the fire. And now she's see pushing that in the rocks. Ooh, I don't know how she does that. So that way, when we put the pan on top, it can sit on the rocks. Okay, when we have the pan, I will keep you guys updated on how we actually cook on it. But the fire is burning okay guys so this is a like 10 minutes so you guys see the, the fire burned down <clears throat> but there's still smoke so we put more of the small wood on top and you see she blew, she's blowing it to get the energy going and you see that you see a fire just came out down there so if you already have ashes and you're some of what fire already burned in the wood but there's no fire don't worry just put a lot of small wood on top and just get a plate or something or paper and just do this and the fire will start coming out because there's already energy you guys see down there and here it comes she's back so i've got to show you guys but this is how the pan sits these are our eggs Ready made one, this is the second round. But yeah, that is how you light a fire and you cook in the village. Y'all, I'm really sad we did not get to go inside of this hotel. It's named Pasigor and it is the best hotel in Bangu, which is where I'm from, it is the village I'm from, and arguably all of Cameroon. Um, it is literally rated one of the best hotels ever, and it rates for like 250 dollars a night. And imagine like that because the France is well, which is the currency in Cameroon versus the currency in, in the US, it's way different. So it's just crazy that they charge that much a night because most people don't even need that much a month. But this is where whenever they hosted the Africa Cup, the players played there. Um, so it's just a really big deal. Like, and I didn't get the chance to go inside, but just outside just looked amazing. So this is it right here. Um, and they have like all the security in the front and it's super nice. But I didn't get to go inside, which is so sad. It's okay, next time I go, I'll definitely have to check it out. But if you're in Cameroon, you definitely gotta go. It's called Tajidor. It's a beautiful hotel. I just heard so many good things about it. And it's just so cool that so literally in my personal village, I can literally walk here. It's just like 25 minutes to walk here, which is so cool. But anyway, you guys, definitely check it out if you get a chance. How's your door? Hey, you guys. I am in the village. I'm in Bangu, Cameroon. And I'm about to take a shower. And I'm going to show you guys how to shower in the village. I have my change of clothes in the plastic bag because I don't like to get dirty. And the first step is to get water and put it like in a bucket. I already did that and I already placed it, but let me show you. This is the water. So you can the water. So water falls during the day and it stops during the night. So you have to kind of gather it. So it's in this big tub until they gather it. And we put it in there until it gets full. And once it's full, it's kind of like what you have. So if you only have so many buckets, you can only fill so much water and use it during the day for that night. And then the next day, you can fill more water. So I already filled my water, my bucket. You guys will see where I'm going. I already filled it so that I'm ready to shower. I have my soap and everything already. 
So that is the first step is to fill up your bucket. By the way, yes, this is the color of the water. It is clean, but this is just the color of the water. I don't have any other answers if you have questions about it. I don't know. But we do cook it. We do like boil it to cook if you're worried about that. So now I'm on my way to where I'm going to shower. Y'all going to be surprised. There are showers inside. Like I'm at a house. There are showers inside the house, which is not that typical in the village. But I just don't want to shower in there because it hasn't been used for forever. And I just, I don't want to shower there. So I'm showering in like what do you call it like in the farm area wherever they like where they grow plants and trees and stuff and get stuff to eat that's why i'm showering around there we have an outside bathroom outside as well i'm still not using that i'm gonna shower outside the outside bathroom because i just feel like nature is cleaner than something that hasn't been used for forever if you could you, you know what i mean you know what i mean okay let's go people are over here all right this is my stuff that i came with so it has like my toothbrush in there uh, my shower gel, lotion, all that stuff is all in here, so it's protected. And so this is whoop, the woods that I'm going towards. It's not really woods, it's like, it's like farmland. We call it in French le champ, which means like the farm. So it's like farmland, because people actually like, you know, cultivate plants here. And like, we literally eat from all the stuff that's all, all out there right now. Um, This is the outside bathroom I was telling you guys about. So I'm going to shower right here. So here are my buckets. Oh, bucket. I'm here with my aunt. We're going to shower together. So this is my bucket right here. So that's the water. Put it in there. This is her bucket. And I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to put these things right there in my bag of clothes right here. I'll put it there. I'm going to get undressed. If you're wondering, people do sometimes come around, but it's not that serious. Like, people know what's up. <laughs> so they see they'll turn around and, like, go another way. It is what it is, y'all. So what I did for a quick tip, I put my clothes in there in the order I'm going to wear them so it's easier so I'm not like shuffling through anything and having to put anything on the floor. So I put my underwear first and then my bra and then my pants and then my shirt and then my cardigan because that's literally how I dress. So that's a quick tip. I have my socks here on top because I forgot them but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm about to get undressed. I can't see that part. And I'm going to shower. Oh, I forgot my little towel. I knew I forgot something. Mom's gonna yell at me if I go back over there. Oh man! Bring a towel. Bring a towel, you guys. That's another quick tip. I'm gonna go ahead and just shower. I'm gonna use the bucket. I'm gonna put soap on me. Rub, rub, rub. Splash, splash, splash. And that's it. So I shower in the village. So check back with you guys when I'm done showering. Hey guys, I look crazy, but this water is so cold. What I do is like. I wet my feet first, like I wash my underwear, wet my feet so I can touch. No, my mom, play with my face now. Hey, it's a ticky, ticky, ticky. My aunt thinks I'm showing my body, lol. But yeah, so it's so cold. So what you do is like wet your feet first, and then you just gotta. Uh, it's so cold. I'm gonna just stick it, stick through it, and take a shower. But just know it's cold. You can also heat it up. Like I, um, there's another video on my channel called how to light a fire in the woods you can do that but we're in a hurry and i'm gonna get yelled at if i try to do all that and i'm just not gonna do all that just to wash myself but you can boil water and then mix it so it's like you know nice and warm but i just don't have the time and i'm just not willing to do it either i'm just gonna go get a cold shower cold shower is actually pretty healthy for you so it's totally fine it's just not the best it's not the funnest but yeah catch y'all later i want to see what the heck i'm doing because <laughs> there are no mirrors Okay, is that a line? Is that a line? Something like that, you know? I want to like put in braids or twists or something. Stretch it back out. Because I wet it. What you want to do with it? Hey, what now? Say it, Lejan. Bonjour, what you want to do? Eha! It's not my last. So I'm using the Monet conditioner. It is. <laughs> it's a volumizing but revitalized conditioner. They gave it to me for free in the package that I got. It's a travel size, and then I'm also using my aunt's oil. It's just it says olive oil in here.
All right, you guys, this is my outfit for today. So I just have a black turtleneck. If you're wondering, yes, it is hot outside, but we wear long sleeves because um, there's mosquitoes that will bite you and it's not fun. So that's why you wear long sleeves. Everybody wears long sleeves in the village. <laughs> um, and then I have these pants, which are like, pretty big on me and then <laughs> in the back of the truck again it's <laughs> oh my god hey guys hey guys say hi to my parents that's it what's up what's up mom's back there we're on my on our way to see my grandmother's sister, right? On my mom's side. She lives over here. So, let's do it. Yeah, we gotta be careful, okay? Because there's some serious places. we sit on the yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're going back. Look at this hill. Serious. I know. I'm a, Mama, you used to, to walk like this, right? You used to walk like this every day, right? Yeah, like yeah, before yeah. But now, now you can't do it anymore, huh? Mother, come on, girl, get your workout in. Come on, girl, get them steps in, girl. It is tiring. So we are going to go to Bafusam next, I think. Right, Dad? Mm -hmm. We're going to Bafusam now, right? Going to Tonto and me mother. Oh, where's that? Mm-hmm. Where's that? Hmm? Where is that? It's down there. Oh, so it's to you a bangu? Yeah, bangu Okay. So we're going to go visit my uncle's mom. Next. Oh, Ooh, child, I am working out. Look at this hill. Ooh. Wow. I'm going to see y'all later. This is my Tonto and me's mom's house. Where's the shepherd? Oh, look at all the cows. Oh, snap. Hey, I want to show it from the there. Oh, my gosh. Oh really? And mom and dad got married here. What is that? Oh, it's a corn. That's cute. Mm. Cute. Mm. <laughs> you can ask cute. The house of your grandma is in the house. The house of your grandma is in the house. The grandpa is in the house. He's everywhere.
parents got me in that church. Oh. A cathedral de Bafosa. The red bit, the big bit? Yeah, that's the way we got married. Hey guys, we're here at Cafe Bonjour. We're trying to get some chocolate. So we can get. My favorite spot. That's what I'm going I'm having some mambo. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! And we're still going. Look at the view though. Hey! That's all we have to hold on because we want to go down this. Hey, Daniela. I think we should stay up here because that's going to be hard to get out of. I'm feeling it. I'm going to let Abigail. My peace. What is that? The protocol is The protocol is testing. The protocol is testing. The I'm not The Nieko Kim with um, my Alright, you guys, this is the end of this vlog. This was our travel back to Dwala from the village, which is like a five hour travel. So, we had a lot of stops along the way. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. In the next vlog, I'll have some more fun in Dwala, the city, and more family time. So, and I see so many more funny moments. So, stay tuned for those. I'll have a video right here for you to watch. Love you guys, and see you in the next one.